MTD CNC are in Oldham today. We're at the PP Group. We've come here to learn about plasma cutting, flame cutting, and what Kerf Developments have done for this company since they moved here to this tremendous new facility just two years ago. Peter, Dan from Kerf Developments has asked us to visit you today here at the PP Group. Uh, this is some impressive installation, isn't it, here from them, one of their products. Tell us about what you've got here, this setup. On Dan's machine from Kerf, it's a combination flame and plasma. We've done it bearing in mind the plates that are commercially available, and we've had it done on one machine, so we've got two cross travels on the flame that cut combined 24 metre by 3 metre. And on the same uh, rails, we've got a plasma which does 12 metre by 3 metre. It's like a modular sort of setup that Kerf supply here, isn't it? I mean, this is the biggest that I've seen. I'm assuming from this, you do have uh, some huge products going through your company. Yeah, we do a lot of work for the construction industry where we can cut profiles that are anything up to 14 metres in one piece. And the machine was such a success that we ended up buying exactly the same machine for PP Profiles West Yorkshire. Well, we'll talk about the company um, shortly because I know you've, you've grown a lot in recent years. Firstly, for our audience, I would like to establish and find out some of the differences between plasma and flame cut and why you've got both. Uh, flame cut allows you to cut a lot thicker material, which we can cut and do cut up to 200 mil thick. The plasma predominantly will only go up to between 40 and 50. It's a lot faster process and it has different applications. Flame cutting you can do small bits and pieces and they'll be a square cut and fit for purpose. On the plasma, if we're cutting pieces that are sort of 10 metres long, it does it in a fraction of the time that the flame cutting will do. So we service all different industries depending on which machine they want. And with the plasma that uh, Kerf supply, they have the ultra sharp definition plasma does that make a difference to the surface finish of the product uh, as well as other things yes yeah, certainly uh, surface finish and tolerance with a lot of laser machines you you tie to certain bed sizes but this gives us a laser finish on a, a plasma bed size do you run any of these unmanned as well uh, not really but we, we can do and I noticed from um, the flame cutter here, you've actually got four heads on here. What was, what, why did you decide to go with the four? Uh, it was more to do with the mix of business that we've had over the years. We did an assessment of the type of business, the sizes, the quantities, and we just thought that four heads best suited our needs, and it's proved to be the case. A pretty en heavy engineering here. I mean, tell us about some of the, some of the parts that you're actually uh, cutting on here. What are they for, Peter? Uh, these particular ones are for a company that makes um, domed um, bells for, I don't know the industry, but it's just for, they're just large rings, large flanges, but in pieces because they're too big to do in one piece. Some of them could be sort of nine, 10 metre diameter, which you can't do on a, they don't make plate that wide and they don't make machines that big. So it's just in the maximum number of segments we can to, to suit the fabrication. Uh, what about maintenance of these machines as well and, and keeping them clean? Uh, do, you know, is that something that you have to consider or you have to pay a lot of attention to? Uh, we always maintain all our machinery to a high standard, but and, and equally we have a service contract in place on every machine in the factory. And do you find the control systems that Kerf supply on their machines as well easy to get to grips with, easy to use, quick to program? Yeah, we've always, the Bernie control which they've dealt with for years, it's easy to use, it's, it's, it's always served as well, always. A uh, big, big part for you is if you're running these machines six days a week, 24 hours a day, you need to make sure that you can carry on doing that. If you have a problem, uh, Kerf are quick to action and, uh, and quick to come out and help you. To be honest with you, the after-sales service is probably more, as important, if not more important, than the machine itself. And that is where Kerf excel and exceed the, any expectations. It's very, very rare do we have any, the, any breakdown for more than 24 hours. Uh, improvements in efficiency as well. I, I did read, or in fact, one of your colleagues told me that you are, the, as a result of these, this installation, uh, you're 30% more efficient. How has that, how has that been? Uh, it's the ability to run the plasma over to the flame and vice versa. We had them all put on one cross travel on purpose so that we, we had the flexibility to run between the beds on, with different processes. 
and they're, they're, they're all manu uh, aimed to do uh, pendulum loading. So while we're cutting on one side of the bed, the objective is to be loading and unloading the other side so we never stop. Wow, okay, and then your company, the PP Group then, tell us about some of the growth you've gone through over the last couple of years or the last few years. Um, well, we merged as a, all the companies together in September of uh, last year and prior to that we'd been running from three separate sites and over the last 10 years we've probably enjoyed collective growth of nearly double. And how has that been? How have you achieved that? Uh, we, the, the main focus from the business is uh, customer service levels. Uh, everybody's driven towards making sure we try and get it right first time every time and with the management we have both upper, middle and lower, uh, everybody's clearly defined roles is to try and make sure we achieve that. Is there any markets that are strong for you? Is there any ones you, you, you target more than others? Not really, we don't uh, get too heavily into any uh, individual markets. We do a lot in construction, we do a lot in aerospace, we do a lot in nuclear. We try not to tie too much into any one. And nobody has more than 5% of book debt with you. Can you just elaborate again for our audience what that actually means and why you, why you do that? Well, over the years, we've always protected ourselves. We learned a lesson about 20 years ago. Um, we had one customer who had about 30% of the book debt, but we could see from the way they were going that it was only a matter of time before they took their manufacturing to China. Uh, fortunately, we recognised it in time. Uh, and by the time they took it to China, we'd got them from 30% 30, 30 down to seven. And we, it stood us in good stead then, and we've always maintained it as a discipline within the business. That's not to say some companies don't go above the 5%, but if they do, we have an objective to grow the business quickly so that they reduce back to five. Sounds like a good policy. Uh, last point from you, Peter. In terms of all of the machinery that you have and the plant that you have here, uh, is Kerf one of the best and the most reliable? 100%. Um, if I were ever buying another plasma or flame machine for carbon or stainless steel, there's no chance we would go anywhere other than Kerf.